Hello and welcome to this ChatGPT ebook video where I'm going to show you how to write an ebook with ChatGPT, obviously. Let's get right into it. So here is what I have is going to be these prompts. And I know there's not a lot here and you can actually stretch it out based upon how long you want the ebook to be. When I'm doing this ebook, keep in mind, it's going to be for a shorter one, say for like a lead magnet. I want to write a few ebook titles related to, and this is going to be your topic here. Make sure that you're more specific. So if you're about fitness, if you put fitness, it's going to be the most broad thing ever. I can do YouTube marketing. You know, that's fine because I can actually change it around here, but say you're into like muscle building, but not only muscle building, you're about getting a better bench press. You know, you can be a little bit more specific there and then talk about an outline, which is going to be the next thing where I put write an ebook outline about setting up a YouTube channel as well as creating and monetizing videos. So not only did I say an outline, but I was more specific. So if you were talking about say bench press, you would be about you know, safely putting the weights on the bar, having a spotter, using per correct form, putting your hands in the right spot, lowering it, bringing it back up and so on and so forth. Then we have introduction, writing each paragraph and conclusion. Allow me to show you how it's done. So here's the first one. We talked about this before. Let's get some titles. All right. So there's a good amount of them. And the good thing about this is that a lot of these are kind of niched down where they're specific. So this is about video production, live streaming, analytics, influencer, affiliate, uh, a successful strategy. That one's pretty good. It's a little bit more broad. We have SEO, advertising, and the algorithm. This is overall kind of a little bit more broad. I like that one. So I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to put this right here. So now what we want to do is write an outline and for this outline, I'm pretty much just talking about setting up a channel as well as creating and monetizing videos. Of course, with your outline, you can extend this for as long as you want. Like if you want to do a very wordy ebook, go nuts with it. You can talk about each of the specific sections and then it'll give you more to write when it comes to writing each paragraph. But for the sake of the example, let's add this in here and paste. All right. And we got a good amount of content here. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in here. Okay, so now we have that. This is going to be the actual title. So what we'd want to do, give me a sec. This is all a little unformatted, so I'm going to move this to make it easier to read. So we have conclusion, going back, uh, audience, monetizing, and so on and so forth. So the first thing we need to do here, so we these two are done. Now we have writing an introduction. So write me an introduction, and I'm, what I'm going to do is copy this. The good thing about when you create an outline is that it gives you some bullet points that you can also utilize. So overview of YouTube and its importance and setting realistic goals for your channel. So those seem pretty good. So let's create a prompt. Right, so I put, write me a couple of introduction paragraphs. Make sure that you talk about the overview of YouTube and its importance as a marketing and monetization platform, as well as setting realistic goals for your channel. So that's literally what we got here. I just put it into words so it flows nicely and ChatGPT knows what I'm talking about. Let's click on this little arrow button and see what we get. All right, so here we go. YouTube is the world's largest sharing uh, platform, 2 billion monthly, so on and so forth. Uh, I like how it says like this ebook will provide you with a comprehensive guide covering everything from video content to monetizing tips and tricks, whether you're a beginner or experienced, and of course, setting realistic goals because it helps you stay motivated and focused. That is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to copy this. In fact, let me, let's see, where is, okay, so we are right here with our introduction. Perfect. What I'm going to do is just do like two more of these. As I always talk about, so we did our introduction. What you're going to be doing is writing each paragraph just like I did. So like once I do one, you're going to know how to do the rest. In fact, I just did one of them. So uh, what I want to do here is write a paragraph based upon this. So I'm going to copy all this. And once again, let's do a prompt. So I put write a few paragraphs about setting up your YouTube channel, which include this is pretty much exactly what it says. It's cool how I can scroll up and still see it. So this is the prompt that I put. I wanted to say a few paragraphs so I get a little bit more information. Then I put which include, and it's just like putting these in as bullet points. You could also write it out like I did previously to make it flow. But as long as you have it like that, you should be good. Let's create the content. All right, here we go. So we got a good amount of content here. So it's going to be the first step, of course. Uh, cho choosing a channel name is one of the most important decisions. I don't know about that. I mean, as long as your name isn't that bad. I mean, look, Marketing Island. Marketing, it's about marketing. An island is based off an MTG card. If you know what MTG is good for you, there wasn't a whole lot of thought that went into that. It's just like, this will do. And then I went on from there. Uh, don't be that person who takes uh, a month to figure out the quote unquote perfect name. Uh, you're losing on time when it comes to that. So choosing the channel name, create your profile, customizing with the channel, uh, 
logo, links. I'm just skimming through. Probably don't have to read it all, obviously. Then I'll be here for a year. But you can always pause the video in case there's any specific section you want to lead up. read. I'm going to copy this. Okay, so I'm going to paste this. There we go. <clears throat> And what you can also do in case you don't have enough information for a specific section. So I could do like write two more paragraphs about choosing a channel name. In fact, I could change this around. I'm going to do this as an example. So let's go back here. Okay, so I put write a few paragraphs about choosing a channel name and make sure to include the fact that it's not that big of a deal. Quickly create something to save time and then move to the next step. So this is an example of if ChatGPT writes something that you're like, you know, I, I disagree. I can see where people are coming from, but let's rewrite this. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let's see what it brings up. Probably could have added a little bit more information, but let's just see what it gives us first. All right, perfect. So I'm going to read as it goes. It might seem like a daunting task, but it's not as big of a deal as you might think. While it's important to choose a name that represents your brand or content and it's easy to remember, it's also important to keep in mind that it can always be changed later on. So that's a very good point. Can you change it? I think you can, right? Anyway, unless you change like the URL of it, I'm not sure if you can redo that. But uh, one good strategy talks about how you can actually create it. Uh, another option is a catchy phrase. And once you choose a channel name, don't get too hung up on it. So this is much better. Like if I was writing this, this is what I would want in there. This is literally what I would tell people. Don't get too hung up on it. You know, think of something, take a few minutes, pick it, live with it, own it and move on with it. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. This is just another example of not only changing out content that you might not want in here, but adding more. So I'm I'm going to, so I'm going to copy all that. And this was the section that we talked about. So I'm going to delete this. We had one paragraph there. I'm going to like, just show you how much more we got and I'm going to move it down there. So that was one section and all I did was change it and we added so much more. So if you ever want to stretch out your ebook, that's a great way of doing it. It's just pretty much writing more, even if it's something that's correct that you liked what they wrote previously, what ChatGPT wrote, you can always just stretch it out. So as you can see, we're going through each paragraph and we're doing the same thing. We're just utilizing this. I'll write a few paragraphs about create engaging content. And of course you could add these bullet points in there so that it utilizes those as well. The same thing with the other paragraphs. And let's just do the conclusion last. Right, so write a few paragraphs for a conclusion and make sure that it concludes a recap, encouragement to continue learning and proving your channel and additional resources for further learning. Um, I guess we'll keep, I wanna see what it puts there. So I'm gonna keep that there. Let's hit uh, enter. All right, so here's a few conclusive paragraphs. Talks about the powerful platform, like how it says throughout this ebook, like it knows that we're still writing an ebook. It talks about everything we talked about right here. Uh, remember that YouTube is not an overnight process. It requires consistent effort and adaption to change. Uh, always be open to learning and try new things and remember to track your progress to further your growth. Okay, so it just talks about channels, blogs, courses, and forums in summary and great. So we can copy this and let's replace this. And there we have it. So like I said, I didn't do all the sections because now that you know how to do them, you know, you can, it would just take time doing the same thing over and over. So we have a few titles that we can utilize. Uh, the more specific, the better, I guess you could always say. And then when it comes to your ebook outline, if there's anything that you want to touch over and make sure you get the important content in there, make sure you write it in here. Otherwise, you, if you just do an outline about, you know, YouTube marketing, it can go in so many directions. It's going to talk about doing live videos. It's going to talk about doing thumbnails and split testing when maybe you just want to start with creating a channel just to get started. Okay. We have our introduction paragraph, and then we're just going over and writing each paragraph for each of the sections. And of course, writing a conclusion, which is the same thing as a paragraph, but uh, I just separated that. And as you can see, here's some of the content that created. And uh, that's pretty much going to be the tutorial when it comes to using ChatGPT for writing an ebook. We talked about also, if you want to extend each section, very easy to do. You're just going in there talking about, say, creating a channel name and why it's not a big deal. We replaced that and we got like three or four paragraphs. So it's very easy to stretch it out if needed. But once again, like I talked about, this is more of like a lead generation ebook. It doesn't need to be 500 pages, just enough to cover the topic and, of course, uh, get the result for the person reading it. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.